Now that you've seen what's inside of the Bolt Plus Power Pack, let's talk about the Bolt Plus Robot itself. The Bolt Plus Robot is about the size of a baseball. It's in a polycarbonate durable shell, which means that it's shockproof and it's also waterproof. Now on the top of the robot, you'll see the vivid LCD display, Around the circuit board is a ring of LED lights that you can program. And then it's also packed with a ton of sensors which allow you to do some really neat things in programming. Now if your robot's turned off, the lights are off and the screen's off, just give it a little bit of a shake to wake it up. The screen will display an animation and then it will rotate between the battery level and the robot ID. All right, and once your robot is turned on, you're going to go into the Sphero EDU app to connect. You'll click on the connect icon in the upper right hand corner and your robot will be listed. Once you're connected, your robot screen will turn on and your LEDs will turn the color that you have set in your iPad. Now, we love the new display on the Bolt Plus robot and we know that you will too. There's a lot you can do with it in the drive screen by changing the different images or animations that are available. Now when you're inside of a Sphero EDU program, you want to make sure that your robot knows which way is forward. To do that, you need to aim it. There are two ways to aim inside the Sphero EDU app. One way to aim the robot is through manual aim. It allows you to take your robot and position it and aim it in any direction that you want it to go. Alternatively, you can go into the aim icon inside the app and use the software version to aim the robot like our previous robots. When you and your students are done programming, you can disconnect from the robot by using the robot screen here on the app and click disconnect. Alternatively, you can place your robot in a powered cradle and once it gets that charging signal, it will disconnect from your app automatically.